It's been a year, Michiana. And we're still Southwest Michigan's only source for live daily news. It's all a part of the WSJV Advantage, commitment to our viewers across all of Michiana. Over 12 months of live coverage from the only full-time news bureau in Southwest Michigan. We are Newswatch 28, and we are everywhere for you. More than 100 employees at a van conversion company in Vandalia are without jobs tonight. Our Michigan Bureau Chief, Patty Ann Brown, has more. Patty Ann. Mike, another Michigan company has fallen victim to hard times in the automotive industry. Bivouac Industries, a van conversion company in Vandalia, was officially closed today. When employees left work Friday evening, they were told to not come back. Today, officials would only say the company is experiencing financial difficulties as a result of the declining economy and the Mideast crisis. Bivouac employed about 150 workers. The man accused of bombing this bar in New Buffalo was arraigned today in circuit court. 65-year-old Antanas Jankis was officially charged with possession of explosives with intent to harm. Four people were injured in the blast at Donna's place last month. Jankis has pleaded not guilty. No trial date has been set. He faces life in prison if convicted. A drug fighting effort aimed at Interstate 94 has helped to decrease drug traffic on the popular highway between Chicago and Detroit. That according to Michigan State Police in Jackson, who say they've seized about $143,000 of drug-related money in 1990 between January and August. The Jackson troopers received special training in spotting drug runners in a program funded by a federal grant.